Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I'm Sally and this is Secret Life of a Seamstress. I hope you're all well. So today's video is going to be the next in my mini series called My Top 5 and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 sewing patterns for children. So I realise that this video is not necessarily going to be relevant to everyone and I really apologise if it's not relevant to you but this is something that I get asked quite a lot actually. Um, I get asked for recommendations for children's patterns and things I've sewn for my own children so I thought it would be a really fitting video to add to my mini top five series. So if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about sewing. I post lots of sewing content, sewing chat, fabric hauls, sew alongs and things like that. I'd love you to subscribe if you haven't already and please if you do enjoy the video I'd love you to give it a like at the end. And if you are a regular viewer of my videos thank you so much for being here again, I really appreciate it. Just in case you wonder what I'm wearing today, today I'm wearing an Agnes t-shirt by Tilly and the Buttons. It's just the plain Agnes t-shirt without the puffy sleeves today and um, I've made it from a really retro floral cotton jersey from Stoff and Steel which I picked up ages ago so I'm not sure if it'll still be in stock. Um, but I absolutely love this print, I thought it was really kind of vintage and um, I thought it would suit the Agnes t-shirt pattern really well. So the first pattern I wanted to share with you, and these aren't in any particular order really, they're not in order of favourites or anything like that, I've just simply put them in order of one to five. So the first pattern I'm going to share is the Jasmine sweatshirt by Ikati Couture and this is what it looks like. So if you haven't heard of Ikati Couture, they're a really lovely French pattern company and they have lots of lovely patterns for children, mainly for girls. But there are some kind of unisex patterns as well that you could use for girls or boys. And they also have some kind of mummy and me patterns as well where they do bundles of um, a dress or a top or something that you can make for you as the mum and then you can make a matching version for your daughter which I think is really cute. And I haven't actually done that yet, but um, and I'm wondering if my daughter's a little bit old for that now, she's nine. <laughs> but it's a really cute idea, so I definitely recommend checking out Ikuti Couture if you haven't already. I'll link them down below. So I picked up my sweatshirt pattern from the Knitting and Stitching show a good few years back now, and that was when I first discovered Ikuti Couture patterns. And um, yeah, I just really loved the look of this sweatshirt. So I just wanted something basic that I could kind of use over and over again for my daughter. Um, and what I love about their patterns is they come in such a wide range of ages. So this one goes from age three to age 12. So it's one that will last you over the years. And that's what I really liked about this because children grow out of things that you make so fast, don't they? <laughs> and um, it's quite hard to keep up with um, size changes and how they're growing and everything. Even though their patterns might be a little bit more on the pricey side, at least you're getting quite a lot for your money. Well, that's what I found anyway. This is the most recent version I made for my daughter. And um, as you can see, I've made it from a really cute bunny print French terry fabric, which I got from Minerva. And I've just kind of trimmed it with a pink ribbon rather than using the actual sweatshirt or the French terry for the ribbing and the cuffs. And I think that looks really nice and it kind of pulls out some of the pink in the bunny print there as well. Um, so yeah, I love this version. And on this one, I have included the ruffle as well. And I think that's really nice and it just gives a little bit more of a girly touch to this sweatshirt as well. So that's my most recent version of this pattern. Obviously, if you look at the front of this pattern, you'd think it was probably drafted for girls, but I have actually made this up for my son as well. And um, all I've done is just omitted the frill. Um, and if you don't include that frill, then you have quite a basic sweatshirt pattern. So I've used this for my son and my daughter now. I actually made my son a PE sweatshirt from this um, and I just got some navy jersey and navy ribbon and I just quickly whisked him a PE sweatshirt up using this pattern and I thought that was really good as well. So I've definitely got my money's worth out of this pattern. I think since I have a boy and a girl, I'm always on the lookout for patterns that I can use for both. My son's getting to the stage now where he's a little bit too old to want me to make clothes for him anymore but my daughter's still at the age where she really likes me making things for her so I'm going to eke that out for as long as possible but I think definitely while they're little and if you do have a boy and a girl it's always good to find something that you can use for both of them and something that has quite a wide range of ages and that's why I particularly like Ikati patterns. So next, another pattern that has been used over and over for my daughter is this one, Simplicity 1208A. And I think I got mine from Hobbycraft. I can't actually remember. I'm pretty sure I did get it from Hobbycraft because I think at the time I was quite 
at the beginning of my sewing journey and I didn't really shop too much online for patterns and I'm pretty sure that I just picked this up one day when we were in Hobbycraft. Um, yeah, and I love this pattern. I think it's a great one. Again, it comes in quite a wide range of ages. So this one goes from an age three to an age eight. So it's lasted me quite well over the years for my daughter. And um, what I like about this pattern in particular, as dress patterns go, is that there are quite a few different versions of the dress you can make. So as you can see, there's this really cute little applique design to the pattern as well. And you don't have to include that. Um, but I have included it on occasion for my daughter and she really loved that. And um, I think it's a really cute little detail. And you can also make this little bag as well, um, which we realized yesterday when I was looking at this pattern with my daughter, Lily, we realized we had never made that bag. And um, I said, oh, I'll have to make it up for her one day. Um, I'll just show you the line drawings at the back of the pattern. So you can see that it comes with a sleeveless option or you can make two different sleeved versions of the dress. So I've made the plain sleeve and I've made the sleeveless version. And I've also made quite a few different hacks of this pattern as well. So I've just used the bodice of the dress and I've cut the skirt really short to make a cute little kind of peplum style blouse as well. And um, yeah, I think it's just a good dress pattern to have in your stash because I think once you've got a good dress bodice and you've got a good skirt pattern, you can use those pattern pieces for so many other different hacks and you can swap things around on them. You can use so many different fabrics and things like that and you can really kind of make it your own. So yeah, if you're on the lookout for a little girl's dress pattern, I highly recommend this one. And once you get used to making this pattern, you'll knock it up really quickly. It's quite a simple make. You don't need to do any buttonholes or any zips or anything like that. The dress at the back is fastened with three buttons, but you actually just make a little loop out of the fabric. So you don't need to make any buttonholes or anything like that either. So yeah, it really is quite a simple, lovely pattern for a little girl. I love this one and I'm really sad because when I was looking at this last night with my daughter, we realized that it doesn't fit her anymore. <laughs> so she's nine and this only goes up to an age eight, unfortunately, and she was growing out of it last time I made this. Um, for her so I need to look out for another dress pattern for her that will last me until she's a teenager or something <laughs> uh, but yeah sad times but that really is a good pattern and a good investment if you're looking for a nice little girl's dress pattern number three on my list is this t-shirt pattern from Stuff and Still so I picked this up again at the Knitting and Stitching show a different one this time not the same one that I picked up the Ickety pattern from so Stuff and Still had a really big store at the most recent Knitting and Stitching show and they had all of these patterns out on the tables for about two pounds. So I picked this one up. Um, their patterns are a little bit strange in that you buy by size. So I got for my daughter size 122. Um, I got this a couple of years ago now and it has lasted quite a while. And the patterns inside are made from this kind of interfacing fabric. They're really strange. <laughs> um, but yeah, really quite nice and easy to pin to your fabric. Sometimes it's a bit difficult. If you like, if you are a pinner, I'm not really anymore. But if you do like to pin your patterns onto your fabric, these are really good actually, because you can pin them really easily rather than trying to faff around pinning paper onto fabric. So that's what they look like. Um, you buy by age or by measurement, as I say. Um, but I've had this pattern for a good few years for my daughter now and it's lasted her really well. So as you can see from the front, there are quite a few different versions. So you can do a long sleeve version of the t-shirt or you can do a short sleeve and there's even a little pocket piece that you can include on this pattern as well. And the thing I like about this pattern is that you can use it for a girl or a boy, obviously. If you did have a different age boy and girl, obviously you just need to consider that in the size that you're buying. But because these patterns are so cheap, I think they're really worth it. And the good thing about having a really basic t-shirt pattern for a child, I think, is that it's really hackable and you can use it for lots of different things. So for example, I've used the long sleeve version of the t-shirt as a pyjama top for my daughter, which I've then paired with a pair of leggings to give that kind of loungewear pyjamery set feel. And I've also used this short sleeve t-shirt as a bodice of a jersey dress that I've made for her. So this is actually the hacked dress that I made using the Stuff and Still t-shirt pattern. And I do have a whole sew along video showing how I made this dress. So if you are interested, um, I'll link that down below so you can watch and just see how I hacked the pattern slightly to make the dress and add the skirt to it. Uh, but yeah, it's a really good jersey kind of basic. It made a bodice of a dress really nicely. 
But yeah, I think everyone needs a good basic t-shirt pattern for children in their stash and this is a really good one. And because I picked this up so long ago, I did check on the Stop and Still website and they do still have it in stock. So I will link it down below in case you're interested and you'd like to buy it for yourself. So next on my list, number four is the Francis Leggings pattern by Bobbins and Buttons. So this is another basic that I just picked up for my daughter. I got it as a PDF. It was super cheap as a PDF and I've just found that I've used this pattern so often for my daughter. Obviously, if you had a young boy, you could actually use this pattern for a boy as well because boys tend to wear leggingy kind of pajamas and things like that these days and particularly babies, I think, can um, wear leggings really well, boy or girl. So it really is a good basic pattern to have and obviously because it's a PDF or you can buy it as a paper pattern I think but I have bought the PDF and it comes in quite a wide range of ages again so it will last you as your child kind of grows up and um, you want to change the ages around and the sizes. So I'll just show you one of my versions of the leggings that I've made for my daughter and I made her a pair up in this really cute sausage dog fabric which was from Stop and Still. And um, I actually made these as a pyjama set for her, although she does wear them in the day as well as loungewear and things like that. So they have a little cuff at the bottom there, but obviously if you didn't want the cuff on, you could just leave that off and they'd maybe look a bit more like day wear leggings. Um, so I literally made these in about half an hour, I think, from cut to finish. They're really, really quick to sew up. And the waistband is constructed in a really lovely way, so you don't have to end up threading your elastic through. You sew it in a loop and then you put it inside your waistband and then you kind of sew it on so it's really kind of quickly, quickly, <laughs> it's really kind of quickly constructed and I found that a really kind of easy way to attach the waistband. So I highly recommend this pattern, again it's just another good basic that you can use for pyjama bottoms, for day to day leggings that go under dresses or for boys as well as I say. So with these sausage dog leggings, I actually made them as a pair of pyjamas. So I've used my Stop and Still t-shirt pattern again to make the pyjama top. And then I've used the Francis leggings for the bottoms and that works really well, I think. So those are the Francis leggings by Bobbins and Buttons. Another lovely, lovely kids pattern that I've used from both my son and daughter over the years is this Birda bathing gown pattern. Um, so I brought this for my son actually when he was about five, he suddenly decided that he wanted a dressing gown and um, it was really lovely actually. I was quite near the beginning of my sewing journey so I hadn't made a lot for either myself or my children. Uh, but my son decided one day that he really wanted a dressing gown. Uh, so we picked up this pattern and we went to my local fabric shop and um, he chose the fabric for this dressing gown and it was just really nice and I always remember making that for him. I definitely make more for my daughter now because I think, I don't know if you find this too if you have children, but it's just easier I think to make things for girls for some reason. Um, so it's sometimes really nice when I can make things for him and I really remember what I've made and I really enjoy making for him too. Anyway. <laughs> So this is a really, really lovely pattern. It comes in ages three to eight again, but what I will say about this pattern is it's very oversized. So I sized down a lot for both my kids. I've just made this again for my daughter. I made it for her when she was eight and I actually used the age five pattern and it still fit her. <laughs> so very oversized. So there are a few different versions. So I'll show you the backline drawings and you can see you can make it with a hood or you can make it with a kind of shawl collar and you can make it from toweling fabric or you can make it in fleece as I've done. So I'll just show you my two versions now. So this was the first version that I made for my son when he was five um, and he chose this fabric himself. It's a really lovely fleece fabric so it's red with white stars all over it and I actually made this before I had my overlocker. So I actually bias bound all of the edges inside because um, I really wanted to finish it nicely for him. And I wasn't quite sure at that time how to finish fleece fabric. I think I know now really that you don't have to finish it at all. <laughs> um, but at the time I just wanted it to look really nice inside. Actually you can see there that I've just zigzagged the side seams. So I didn't actually bias bind all of the seams in the end. But um, I think it looks really nice if you do finish your seams nicely for the hood because when the hood's open and it's laying back you can actually see the seams inside so I really like how I've actually finished this one. And we just finished this with an L on the pocket just so that he knew it was for him because his name's Lucas <laughs> and he chose that himself. So this is a really lovely pattern. I think this took me about 
three hours to sew at the beginning of my journey, but my most recent version, I sewed up really quickly in like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Really, really lovely pattern. And I think it's good for gifts as well. And if you have young children, it's a really nice Christmas present or birthday present or something like that. Or it's really good to kind of get your children to choose their own fabric and you don't have to fit it too much either. And because it's oversized, it will last them for quite a long time too. And this is the most recent version I made for my daughter. Um, so she's, I think I made this for her when she was eight. So it's about a year old now. And she chose this really, really fluffy minky unicorn print fleece. And this shed its fleece everywhere. <laughs> so it was quite a pain to sew. It was really, really messy. But once it was overlocked and everything, it was all fine. And I've washed this a good few times now and it washes really well as well. Um, so this, as I say, was the age five. It's really big and it still fits her. So if you do buy this pattern, you probably want to size down a little bit just to um, make sure you don't swamp your child with dressing gowns. So you can see that the belt is just added um, with belt loops on the side as well. And that's really nice because you can just tie it around and it's really cozy for sort of after a bath time or bedtime or winter time or anything like that, or just sitting around watching TV in the front room. My children have been known to do. <laughs> so I did say that I was only gonna share five patterns, but I'm actually gonna add a bonus pattern on the end because I really love this pattern too for children. And this is the Made By Me Patterns Kids Jogger Pattern. So I discovered this recently for my daughter again, who wanted a pair of jogging bottoms and I really wanted to try and sew some for her. So I actually discovered this pattern company on Etsy. Um, they do have an Instagram page too, but I think they mainly sell via Etsy. So I'll link them down below. I'll pop in an image of the pattern because I only have the PDF version. I haven't got it all printed out and everything. But the good thing about this is that again, it comes in a really wide range of sizes from baby up to about age 10, I think. Um, and when you print out the PDF, you have that option on Adobe Reader where you can just print out the age that you want, which I think is brilliant because then you only have to kind of cut out your own size and you don't have to waste all that extra paper. So I've made a couple of versions of these leggings for my daughter now. This is the most recent pair I've made for her. And I made this as a loungewear set with my Ikati Couture Jasmine sweatshirt again. Um, so these are the joggers. They're really, really lovely. And I used a fleece back jersey from Minerva to make these. They've got a little pocket here, which I think is a really cute detail. They're just elasticated at the waist with no tie or anything. And then they're finished at the bottom with a cuff. These were a really quick make again. I think I cut these out in about 15 minutes or so and sewed them in half an hour. So another really quick make. And I think for kids clothing, it's really nice to have these really quick and easy um, go-to patterns to have for making kids clothes because you don't really want to be spending ages and ages on children's wear, I don't think, because it just gets so dirty and they grow out of it really quickly. So for me personally, I love to just have a few basic patterns that I can knock up time and again for my children. So yeah, this is the Made By Me Patterns Kids Jogger pattern and a really good one as well that's obviously suitable for boys or girls. I've not made these for my son yet. I think he's probably too old for that pattern. I think it only goes up to an age 10. But um, yeah, if you had a younger boy, they'd definitely be suitable for a boy or a girl. And the good thing about unisex patterns, I think, is that you can kind of make them your own with whatever jersey or whatever fabric you're using for them. So my daughter likes dog so that's why I chose this sausage dog print fabric for her and I made this up as a loungewear set for her for her birthday which was really cute. So those are my top five patterns for children's wear. These are all my own kind of personal preference patterns. They're patterns I've found and used and loved over the years for my children. There are many, many other pattern companies out there that are really good for children's patterns. I also love Poppy and Jazz by Sew Over It. Um, those patterns are unfortunately a bit too small for my children now. But if I had younger children, there's definitely a few patterns in there that I'd love to have made up for my children. There's also patterns for pirates as well that are really good uh, for children's patterns. So many out there. If I think of any more, then I'll definitely link them below in the description of this video. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to know in the comments below what your favorite children's patterns are and let me know any patterns that you've made for your children time and again. I'd love to know as well any patterns for older girls and older boys that you've loved um, because I'm definitely on the lookout for those now too. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
and I'd love it if you gave the video a like if you've enjoyed it. I'll link below this video all of the other videos in my top five series so that you can pop over and watch those too if you'd like to. I'll be back soon with another video and I'll look forward to seeing you then. Bye!